Hi everyone, so this is going to be my nail video. Um, I don't do a lot of these types of videos because to be honest, nail polish doesn't stay on my nails. Um, it Within literally the, the day, it will start chipping and, and just completely be a disaster. Um, so I typically don't paint my nails. Um, it's, you know, a lot of upkeep and it's a lot of hassle and I just, you know, don't really feel like painting my nails every day. So. I usually don't, which results in my nails looking horrible. Um, my nails, you know, just this past June were just terrible. They were, you know, broken straight to the nub. You know, they're painful because they're so short. They were cracked and chipped, and I just, they were just horrible. So they were cracked and chipped, and they were just really bad. Um, they didn't look good, and they just, they were embarrassing. So I had start. Uh, I was uh, researching shellac, CND shellac, um, for a while, and I guess maybe in May I went to have it done by a little salon in a small town. Um, they weren't using shellac. It was a regular gel base coat that they had to sculpt with a brush. And for me, I when I'm put in that kind of situation where I know it's not shellac, where I know the, I'm not getting the product that I wanted, um, I kind of tense up and I don't tend to kind of be demanding and say, you know, I want you to stop. I don't want this. Um, and I, I kind of regret it because... I let them do my nails and it was horrible, it was a horrible experience, they looked terrible, the lady did not cap the edges, um, she didn't go far enough back where it looked like, you know, along the cuticle, it looked really rough and patchy, um, and of course on the on the tips, she didn't cap them at all, didn't even come close to the tips, it was kind of like she just blobbed it down and just kind of spread it around and that was it, it was like... It was the worst manicure I've ever had. I mean, I've given myself better manicures and, you know, I suck at painting nails. So, it was a horrible experience and when it came time to removing them, they would not come off. I soaked my fingers in acetone for, I would say, a good 20 minutes until my fingers were burning and they would not come off. The top color came off, but as far as the gel base on the bottom that she used um, with the sculpting gel, would not come off. I had to end up filing it off and it took a few months to actually get it off which was very very disappointing. So maybe I had it done in March because it took about two months to get it, all the gel, gel off. So around that time I, I finally realized that you know I don't really trust going to the salon again um, because all the other places they in my area they don't carry shellac. They don't do it. So I figured I'd just do it myself. What the heck right? So little by little each month I would spend about $50 to $60 buying the equipment and the colors and things like that. And then in July I finally said, you know what, I'm just going to buy everything because this is going to be my birthday present and I want my nails to start looking pretty now so that when I start going on job interviews they'll look nice. And I'm very happy to say that I'm not disappointed. So I'm going to go through what I have right now. It's the typical little spiel of shellac. And then at the end of this video, I've taken pictures of each time I've done my nails. And I'm going to show you the different colors as color swatches and what you can expect from it. So as far as a, a two-week manicure, it would work completely fine for two weeks. However, I use my nails as utensils, which I know is really, really bad, but I can't help it. And I'm constantly like fidgeting with them which wears down the tips. So I usually change out the shellac every week and a half. I don't make it to two weeks just because I get annoyed with it. Like, there's no chips or anything. It's just I don't like the same color on my nails for two weeks. It gets really boring. So I, I end up at the week and a half point getting tired of that color and wanting a different color. So right now I have a polka dot theme going on. And as far as this hand, if you're wondering what happened to my pinky, I cut my pinky and so it needs to be bandaged. Therefore, when I did my nails yesterday, I just kind of wrapped it and I'm not going to do this because it cuts pretty close to the nail and I don't want to put it in the lamp. So, yeah, I also cut my nails. My nails are much longer and, I mean, 
I cut them so I could square them off and so that I can actually type on the computer again because they got so long that I could not type on the computer I was doing this number. <laughs> so which was pretty annoying. So I'm just going to show you what I use, the colors I have, and then um, yeah, that's it. So this is the C&D lamp and I actually keep all of my uh, polish and everything in the box itself and then the lamp comes with this kind of terry material um, cover and I just keep it like this um, in my closet and yeah I'm just really careful with it but um, this is the lamp and I have to warn you it's extremely expensive I had purchased a lesser <laughs> brand and did my nails for the first time when I discovered that it just it was not working. I'm the type of person that wants to know the exact formula for something. I don't want to experiment, especially when I'm, you know, working with nails and gel lights and I I don't want to experiment and then something goes wrong, you know? So I just sucked it up and got the lamp and um, it's worked perfectly. I really like it because it has all the different settings that you actually need to pre-programmed. Um, it has a fan inside so your hands won't overheat. I have the CND 100 pack of removers, um, and as you can tell, I'm pretty much. I need to reorder these like pronto. Um, this is what it looks like. It's just a little pad, and then it has a sticker at the end of it, which you just peel off and you wrap around your finger. Um, I like these more than I like cotton balls, just because when you do the acetone and cotton ball, it kind of seeps around your entire finger and there's no need for that. With these, it goes directly on the nail, it doesn't seep around your finger, and there's no you know, purpose drying out your whole finger when you can just use those. So I really like them. Here's the cord to the lamp, so it's um, removable. I have some emery boards. I also purchased these. Oh gosh, what company is this from? You know what, I'll put it down in the description bar with all the other stuff that I'm showing you, but they're these little, um, like little poofs, they're little, sponges and this is great for using um, after you're done for, to remove the sticky tacky layer from the top with the alcohol this is excellent for doing that I love these they're they're awesome and you get like a whole bunch of them so it's from another nail polish company I forgot which one it was though but very nice very nice and then um, I bought some of the solar oil I bought actually a few boxes because I was thinking I was getting the big bottle of it, but when it came, it just came in all these little boxes. So, um, who knows, right? And I got a few mini ones as well, so here's one of the mini ones. The fragrance on this is very light and fresh, um, a little bit fruity, which is great because I like scented things. Um, it has a lot of good oils in it for your nails. Um, I also have, let's see, just a few random... Things. I use my um, little nail pusher, cuticle pusher, um, every single time I do my nails. My little gel brush with my uh, little acrylic container that I fill with acetone, which makes it easier uh, to do cleanup and things like that. So I use those every single time I do my nails. And on to um, actual nail polish. So I think I have seven colors, excluding the... Um, base and top coat. So here are the base and top coats. Um, yeah, and as you can see, they're, they're quite small. I mean, if you compare them to a full-size polish, which this is, would be like a full-size polish, um, they're, they're quite small. So you're not getting a, like a full-size polish that you're used to. They are smaller and they're more expensive. So it's kind of a, you know, negative but you don't use as much they're extremely thin coats that you put on so you don't I mean they should theoretically last a while unless you're doing everybody and their brother's nails so I guess I'll start off with some neutral colors um the first one is iced cappuccino and it's like a um iced cappuccino it's a shimmery brown color I've used this a few times and I have to admit that I don't really like it. It doesn't do much for my skin tone, so I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for considering I don't really like it, but um, I do have it. So Ice Cappuccino. The next one is Romantique. And this is what I'm actually using on for the base coat of this nail design. 
Um, so that's Romantique. It's a nice, um, I don't know, beigey pink. It's perfect for a neutral nail. Um, I also, let's go into the pink. So I have two pinks. I have the Gotcha. I do believe Gotcha is um, the new color for shellac. I think it came out in the spring. It's very pretty. I've painted my nails twice with this color, and I've painted my mom's nails as well, and she loved it as well. Um, and then the next one, this is one I just got in. It's Hot Pot Pink, and this is from last year. Um, I'm actually wearing this on my toes right now. It's a perfect pedicure color. And I don't know if you can see, but the pink dots on my nails, um, that's the Hot Pot Pink. So I, I like that color. It's new for me. I just purchased it. So it's pretty cool. On to um, a purple. The only purple that Shellac has right now out is this one. It's Rock Royalty. Um, again, I have not tried my whole nail with this yet because it is still summer. But if you can see, the purple dots are, or is this color, the um, Rock Royalty. So I'm excited for fall and winter so I can try this out. It just seems a little bit too dark for summer. Um, and then on to the reds, I have um, a medium red, I guess. I don't know. It's more of a coral to me, but the bottle looks a little red, so it was kind of misleading. It's called Tropics. Uh, it, it looks red. It's not. It's a very um, pinkish, orangish coral. So if you like coral, this would be a good color for you. Um, in different lighting, it looks like different things. So sometimes it looks pinker. Sometimes it looks more coral and orange. It's very pretty. Um, and that is Tropics. And then for a red red, this is Hollywood. I believe this is another um, new color. Also the red dots that you see on my nails, This is that's Hollywood. Um, this color is really special because it has glitter in it. It has very fine iridescent gold glitter in it. Um, very shimmery but not overpowering. So it's, it's great for mature women as well. Anyone who likes a red with a little bit of pop in it, this would be a great color for you. So um, again, this is Hollywood, and it's a deep red. Um, very, very pretty. So that's everything that I have right now. And to be honest, you really don't need much. A few colors will really go a long way. Um, my initial thing that I was planning on doing was only buying a few colors, and then just adding to my collection as I go, but it was cheaper to purchase all of them together at the same time um, than to individually buy them. So I would also recommend, I bought all of this on, on Amazon.com. Um, there's a bunch of really great sellers on Amazon. Uh, the one little downfall is that you do have to pay for shipping per item, um, but you don't need a license to purchase it, and the shipping's pretty fast, the customer service is pretty good. And you can um, really find great prices. I mean, for the most part, if you go onto any of the websites, these range from anywhere between $17 to $25 a bottle. And on Amazon, I waited until the prices dropped to $13. So with shipping and everything, uh, I paid about $15 a bottle, which is like 2 bucks less than buying it at the store. So... I'm really happy with my purchase. I, again, I have those colors, and um, so far, they I haven't tried all of them, but I will uh, show you the colors that I have um, tried and the swatches uh, right after this video. I'll try, try not to make it too long. So um, I hope this is informational, and uh, I love shellac. It's been awesome for me. It strengthens my nails. It lets my nails grow. And it looks extremely professional or fun or funky, whatever you want to make them. So it's fun to play with. It's easy to do. I mean, it's super easy to do. Um, it does take a little uh, money investment up front. But for the long run, I don't believe I'll be purchasing any nail polishes from here on out. I was actually contemplating giving away all my nail polish. So um, we'll see about that. I might do like a little contest to give away all my nail polishes that I have so far. So um, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. Um, and I'll show you the swatches now.